Hello, welcome to Cataclysm. Quick tip number 35, where we will be discussing the Mark Firewood Source option from the construction menu. So in Cataclysm, if you would like to do some crafting or reading in the dark, you have to have light. So to do that, most commonly, people will build a fire. Hopefully, you know to do that in a safe location, meaning a brazier, fireplace, wood stove, things like that, that will be able to safely contain the flames so you don't burn your base down. And in this particular circumstance, I've got our survivor here with a activated brazier just north of him and a pile of 2x4s to my left. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate first how the process normally works and how you can benefit from the option I'm going to show you. So typically in this situation you would grab a 2x4 from the pile next to me, drop it on the space of the brazier, and yes you can drop lots of them on the brazier if you would like. Um, but just to demonstrate, I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to activate my lighter and pick that direction and there we go. We now have fire. So if you look at the lighting indicator, it shows a bright light, and just as a quick note, if you step over next to the computer, yes, it does put off enough light for you to craft and read by, but it's cloudy, meaning you have a negative effect to that. It's going to take longer to do activities using that dimmer light, so generally you want to make sure you've got bright light so you get your normal crafting or reading times. All right, so in this example, I'm going to go ahead and start reading a book just to kind of demonstrate the point of this. So we're going to go ahead and read Computer Science, uh, yeah, Computer Science 301. I'm going to say read until I gain a level. There it goes. We've gained a level and the light just went out. So it says you increase computers to four. We actually need to do one more. So we'll go ahead and set this up here. I was a little too close to that level. We're going to turn that on again, and we're going to read the next level. Alright, so this is the demonstration I wanted to show you. So we gained some skill, but then it stopped reading because it got too dark. So basically our reading session was interrupted because our fuel source ran out in our fire. So the point of this particular topic, the Mark Firewood Source option, is thus. If you go into the construction menu, on the construction menu, if you arrow over a few times until you get to the Others category, there is an option right here called Mark Firewood Source. You'll notice over here it takes zero time to complete, takes zero tools and zero materials. All it does is it indicates a floor space upon which you're telling the game you would like it to use firewood from that location during times where the fire would normally go out while you are doing a reading or crafting action. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that option. Then I'm going to pick the direction, construct where. I'm going to say to do it in this space right here. You can see a little X has appeared there. And it's actually a colored X, but with no light you can't see the color. We'll see that here in a moment. And it's not an object. It doesn't actually take any time or materials or tools to build. You can do it anytime you'd like. And now if I put some firewood on that location, anytime I try to do a reading or crafting action, if it's going to get interrupted by the fire source in my uh, brazier or wood stove or so on going out before I've completed my action, it will automatically pull firewood as needed to continue the burning until I've completed my action. So I will never get interrupted while I'm reading or crafting. So to demonstrate, let's go ahead and use the advanced inventory menu. We're going to move some 2x4s from the pile next to me up a space. So let's go ahead and move... Oh, it doesn't really matter. We'll put um, 20 of them over there, and I've got 28 still in this space. So you can see here we have 28, and in that we have 20. I'm going to put, once again, a single piece of firewood on the brazier. So we'll go ahead and grab one piece, drop it in that location. All right, so we got one piece here, so it's not going to last very long. While I'm trying to read, it'll disappear again before I finish this next skill level, likely. And then we've got a large source, or 20 2x4s, in our Mark Firewood Source location. So we're going to go ahead and activate our lighter, start the fire in the brazier. Be careful not to start the fire over in your Mark Firewood Source location. And then we're going to go ahead and read again. And we're going to say read until you gain a level. And it's just going to keep going and keep going. And you can see we now have 19 2x4s over here. So it actually pulled one of the 2x4s over to continue the burn. Uh, until I was able to finish my action. So let's go ahead and read again. This time we're going to switch to our Principles Advanced Programming. Read until we gain a level. And 
and we have now got computer level 6 and it's down to 16 2 by 4s in this space. Now, now that we're done reading and doing actions, if I just pass time, the fire goes out because we are no longer performing an action that uh, will use this function. So it still has 16 in it. It let the fire go out instead of just continuously pulling. So it's not going to just infinitely feed uh, wood into your fire. It is only going to feed enough so that you can complete your action without it being interrupted. Very, very useful function. Uh, very quick and easy to use. Doesn't take any tools, items, or time. So feel free to use this in your gameplay and I think you will find it very helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode and are going to tune in for future ones. Let me know what you think in the comments down below or via my Discord channel. As always, I'm happy to uh, take suggestions on future topics. Have a great day and stay safe out there.